Hello everyone, this is me, Satya here, and I'm back with another bonus love read. This reading is going to be for the sign of Sagittarius. Topic of the reading is, are you on his mind? Now, if you are dealing with a masculine and you really want to know if you are on this person's mind or not, this reading will definitely help you know that. I will be adding messages from this person as well in this reading, so stay tuned. And before I dive into the read, let me remind you, it's a general read. It may, it may not resonate with everyone out there, so always pick the signs and messages that resonate and leave the rest for personal reads you can always reach out to me on my email id in the description box you can also check out other services that i offer as well in the description box so let's dive into the read and let's find out are you on his mind whether you are in touch whether you are out of touch you can check this read for both situations let's dive into the read and let's find out are you on his mind yes or no nine of wands page of wands King of Swords. I feel like, you know, this person has uh, their guards up against you. Uh, whoever it is that you're dealing with, uh, this person really does think about you only if uh, and when he, um, when he's uh, like, you know, missing the, you know, uh, missing to have some fun. Uh, if, if you, if you are thinking like, you know, this person is in love with you or he has some loving relationship towards you, I feel like, you know, that's missing right now. He really doesn't have emotional, uh, attachment to you or he doesn't feel that way for you as maybe you might be feeling for him right now. But I feel like, you know, slowly but surely things will change for him. For majority of you, you might have started off your connection with him as something very sexual, something very fun, something like, you know, where you might have started dating each other for for the intention of like you know just to have fun rather than having anything serious to offer in the connection i feel like you know this person is uh very cold and um kind of uh, very restrictive in their way of uh, them expressing themselves at all i feel like you know right now i feel like for majority of you uh your person is holding themselves back he tries not to think much about you tries to kind of you know treat you as as a person who they would come to just to have sex just to have fun times with and that's it i really don't think that this person has emotional attachment uh with you and this person will not get emotionally attached to you until unless this person has uh understood his own feelings for you i feel like you know for majority of you this person with them being uh coming as a king of souls energy this person really hides their own emotions and they try to run away from facing that for themselves as well so it's very hard for this person to open up to embrace what he truly feels for you so right now it's one of those phases for him where he's trying to run away from his own feelings slowly but surely he's going to own uh, you know um uh, embrace what he feels for you and that's how he's going to like you know um start thinking much about you rather than like you know trying to suppress his own feelings i feel like you know he's very good at suppressing his feelings and emotions and i really feel like you know this person is um uh you know if you really want this connection to work with him i feel like you know you have to be very um positive minded because with him and his wrong attitude you will have a lot of issues with him uh because i really don't think that he's going to give you what you want um you know anytime soon i really feel like you know he's going to take his time before he opens up uh before he gives in and uh it's it's um you know once he is into it once he expresses it openly and honestly it's going to be completely a beautiful journey but till that time comes it's not going to be an easy journey for you to deal with this person it's going to be pretty much like a one-sided relationship for him for you and him uh, because I feel like, you know, it's going to be make, making you feel like, you know, as if you're unworthy of love. Maybe that's the reason why this, you know, why this person doesn't give you love or, uh, you know, commitment. But in actuality, it's his way of being right now. He's very closed off to, you know, letting love in his life for now. And I feel like, you know, that's the reason why he's like, uh, you know, kind of uh, detached completely for now. I feel like, you know, he is really, 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 really not, uh, you know, um, opening up to receive or you know to give love right now um, the only way he opens up is the sexual way of dealing with the connection and that's it I feel like you know if you if you want to know if you are on his mind if and only if it's sexual yes you stay on his mind other than that he's very occupied with other things so he doesn't get too attached to you emotionally he really doesn't have much of emotions towards you for now because that's how he has not like you know allowed the emotional side of him to get attached to you so he has his guards up he is not emotionally into you but yes um when it comes to him um in the future i feel like you know yes he will 
have emotional attachment with you as well in the future but right now i really don't think that he has any emotional uh you know belonging to you um i feel like you know um for some of you you might you might have that you know cycle end with this person where he's detached completely uh coming in uh, quick but i feel like you know before that happens uh you would feel like so uh fed up with him and his energies i feel like you know for those of you if it's a new connection i feel like you know this person is going to be like um you know, initially he, he might be giving in because uh, you might be having a lot of sexual activities together. But at the same time, if you look at this connection in the long term, I really feel like, you know, you are going to feel like disappointed in him. Um, and you will kind of like, you know, feel like you need to give up on this person and this connection because there is a lot of like, you know, mental blocks this person has around commitment and all those things. So you would feel like you need to let go of this person because this person is not going to give you the emotional fulfillment that you seek in a relationship. And that energy is going to get, you know, uh, to the point where you're going to feel like giving up. And I feel like, you know, the change that I see in him is uh, going to come after you have changed towards him uh you have kind of like you know let go of the expectation that you had from him and that's when he is going to change uh, that's when he's going to have the time to think about you or to miss you even i feel like right now for majority of you he's not like you know heavily and dominantly thinking about you maybe he's trying to kind of like you know bury himself in his work and all those things just to not think much about you but again once he has this time for himself he is going to think about you he's going to miss you he's going to feel like no he needs to explore his own feelings for you so i feel like you know he will change then i really see that after he has committed after he has opened up yes he will be the perfect partner that you want but till that time comes it's going to be a toxic situation for you to deal with let's see what his uh, messages are for you what does he want you to know what does he want you to know what does he want you to know wow we have our uh, first card here you are my one and only so this person really wants you to know that i am not dating or seeing anyone else you are the one and only for him and um he really wants you to know that like you know even if he is the kind of detached emotionally unavailable it's not that he is involved in anyone else it's uh you and only you for him I hide behind material things. So like I said earlier, I feel like, you know, he is, he is just uh, boring himself uh, in, in, uh, in, in other things right now. So he just don't have, uh, you know, uh, he just don't have uh, like, you know, uh, um, time to think about his own emotions for you right now. Um, I know I was a distraction from your pain. I feel like, you know, this person really, you know, is going to start blaming you initially for, for, you know, for, for the failure in this connection and as they see you moving on they are not going to realize that they have been doing the mistake in the connection by ignoring you or neglecting you or not taking you like you know um uh, always taking you for granted and not ever valuing you but they are going to feel like you know maybe you were a distraction now you have found somebody else but then they are going to understand where they made they made a mistake and that's how they are going to come back to you i think i now know what i want with you so now you know, in that situation, he he's going to like you know uh, understand what he wants with you basically, and where he did miss the made a make make a mistake. So I feel like you know, that's what is happening here in the situation with your person. Um, but at the same time, I really see the future seems to be promising. But um, right now, you are definitely not on his mind in the right way forward. He is kind of like restricting himself to think much about you for now. But things will change. I hope it was of help and wish you all the best. Take care. Bye.